here and this is the heat seeker bus. Today I'm going to show you how I put a lock on the door here. This is a bar, it's stainless steel, it's hollow but it's got a thick wall. Pretty heavy. It's from an exit door push handle. And it works like this. You put it in the Solid. Door can't open all the way. You have to put your hand in. That's it. This is going to be good enough for now. At least now I can keep my tools inside the bus and I won't have to bring them in the house every night. And this is pretty solid. You'd have to put a lot of weight on here. You'd have to stand and jump on it to bend it. It's a deterrent. It's a bus. If they want in, they're gonna get in. It's a bus. It's lots of windows. But at least now they can't just walk in and grab stuff. So let's have a closer look. On this side, I drilled a hole and then I tapped it with a hammer and I uh, was able to thread it all the way in. There's three layers here in here. And I was able to get a really solid grip on it. I added a nut to extend the head. So now the bar fits nicely over. And at the other end, I made a bracket uh, from a back bracket. I cut the angle here. And I made it fit nicely in the groove. So I added support. And then I drilled two holes and put some good self-tapping screws in there. So that groove there just sits on top of that, slides in, put your lock in, and then lock it. And it's very solid. And then the door can only open this much. So there. So this project didn't cost me anything. I had this my junk pile and I had the bolts and I took my grinder and made this one this bracket fit and I also had the lock so this lock is going to work great for now I can always add a second lock here so this project was free, took me a couple hours, and it works for now. I have some black caulking tape. I gotta put this over the screws. And I can mold it in place. There, now you can't see the screws. Be good, and I'll see you next time.